Hello, everybody. Dave Neal here, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. It's a very busy day in the Bachelor universe. Uh, last uh, work day before the new season of Bachelor, and we've got Bachelor in Paradise drama. That's right. One of the most unsuccessful seasons of Bachelor in Paradise ever. The great, uh, the great breakups that happened the week after the finale aired. People couldn't even wait till the end of the year. They were like, should we make Christmas presents for each other? No, let's just end it here and that's what Kat Izzo and John Henry did well now she may have been shading her ex-fiance on TikTok I'm gonna watch the TikTok with you guys for the first time uh, I'm not sure if it counts as shade as you guys know I'm a fan of Kat Izzo and the mess that she creates uh, who wants perfection right we like mess either way let's see if she cleans up the mess with a get ready with me video for her first interview as a nurse practitioner let's just watch it and see the moment where she apparently shades her ex here it is. I shot my curls. I used a straightener to comb my hair. And we're mixing metals today in 2024. I'm so nervous. I'm in San Diego. This is my first get ready with me. And we're getting ready for my interview. Featuring Jen. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get ready now because I have my first interview and I'm really nervous. <laughs> we're gonna do a very like natural, subtle, my skin but better type look. Get all up in there. Natural yet subtle. Because I make a mess. Her up. You know it's natural and subtle not doing any makeup, but that's okay. No, hey, we we love a good contour queen. Keep some curled. Cause my eyelashes don't stay curled. We're finally officially out of Florida. Because I'll tell you what, if I'm interviewing for nurse practitioners, you bet your bottom dollar I want those eyelashes curled. How can you do your job with flat eyelashes? It's never felt better. This is like a really big deal because this has been in the works since before Bachelor. I had this planned and unfortunately it got put on even more hold because of you know who. He who shall not be named. So she said she had plans that got put on hold because of you know who, he who shall not be named. I'm guessing John Henry. And, you know, did John lead her astray? Was she trying to make the relationship work following him around? And did she put her career on the back burner? I'm not sure. My guess is, not, 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 not specific to her, but anyone who went on Bachelor in Paradise would have hoped to maybe, I don't know, um, launch a lucrative career as an influencer before going back into the world of nurse practitioning. Not to say, not to say that's not a sort of notable career. I'm sure it is. But who wouldn't want to like, I don't know, you know, sample test colognes in Sephora as a full-time job. That would be fun. <laughs> so I became a nurse practitioner like a day ago. And it's still just like surreal to me that I don't ever have to study again. Never again. These last few months have just been like horrible for me. If God would have told me that my year was going to consist of going on two reality dating shows, going through a breakup at the same time that I had to study for my biggest certification exam and also move across the country at the same time, I would have been like, yeah, right. A month and a half ago, I wish I could just like tell that girl now that everything was going to be okay, like where I am today. I spent a total of seven years between undergrad and grad to be where I finally got to. It's just funny how the world works because even in my undergrad, my hardest times in school always came with like the hardest time in life. And just keep pushing, truly. I'm not saying that studying to be a nurse practitioner is not hard. I'm sure it is. I don't know. I, I only did undergrad, so maybe I'm just an idiot here. But it's good. It's good to feel a little bit of pride that you've accomplished your goal set forth and that you can move on to the next step. I hope she gets the gig. I don't know what the gig is. We'd love to know. Um, I'm sure she doesn't have to curl her eyes for the gig though, right? I mean, could you imagine? It's like, hi, I'd like to t put that catheter uh, on your whatever the hell catheters go. And you're like, no, nurse, please. God, no, you, you haven't uh, contoured your cheekbones. I can't stand, you, you clearly are not competent in the catheter uh, mounting business. Is that how you do you mount a catheter? How does it work? It's just true like you will get pushed to your absolute limits until we have no other choice but to go forward but it makes the reward so much better and something i've learned re recently is the universe takes things away from you because there's just something bigger and better planned yes. right yes. <laughs> i do feel like i'm just rambling but i definitely have now that i'm in a better place some tea to spill I'm feeling healthy to talk shit. I'm finally healthy again to talk some shit. Spill it. I'm not stressed. Like, I can actually, like, have a conversation and not cry. My favorite. This? What is this? No, that's for your lips. Oh. <laughs> this. <laughs>
but really this year has been so labile and so many uprooted changes that I did not have planned but I do think that everything is working out in the way that it's supposed to just got this oh I like this by the way I just googled labile did she really use a term that I didn't know lab no labile is that liable to change, easily altered? Persons whose blood pressure is more labile will carry an enhanced risk of heart attack. Did, did she just use the word labile? Let's go back and listen to this in, in proper usage here. This year has been so labile and so many uprooted changes that I did not have planned. But I do think that everything is working out in the way that it's supposed to. Just got this. Oh, I like this. Look, I think I think this is great. You know, you can be a nurse practitioner. You can also be an influencer. I think nurses and therapists are some of the most dramatic people that I know. But I think that's you know, there's just personality types they get into certain gigs. So either way, uh, okay, let's just let's just, 15 seconds left. Let's finish this off. These from TJ Maxx, so cute. Are you kidding? Thrifted this from Goodwill. Yeah. Cute. Well, I'm on a budget here in San Diego. Final look. Can you even see it? Whatever. Stay tuned. If I don't get it, I will be crying. So bye. <laughs> If I don't get it, I will be crying. So bye. We hope she got it. Let's. This is her next video. Let's see if this. Is anything so she's got the crop top look going on here. She says, "I'm not looking for a man." All right. Look. Hey. I mean, nobody. Nobody can throw on some makeup better than Cat uh, uh, Izzo here. Let's read the comments. Someone said, "John Henry, your hotness hides your crazy well." Uh, says somebody, and she says, "Who's hiding it?" Uh, we see you, girl. What lip gloss are you wearing? Yes, my Sephora plumper is my tried and true. <laughs> the, Sephora, the Sephora plumper is her tried and true. All right, look, I just lo I love I love watching Get Ready with Me videos because it's such a different world from mine. How do you even know? Like, how do you even know what to do? Do you watch tutorials? Because you, they look like just you got the crop circles going around here, and then you smudge it all together until you look like Jennifer Lopez. I mean, they. Sort of use like a glue stick on the eyebrows, and then she's got this Sephora uh, plumper tool. I didn't even know we had plumper tools, you know? Some things you want to deflate, some things you want to plump, some things you want to... Basically, whatever God did to your body, you try to comb it the other way. You know, you got a mole here, you want to hide it there. You got your eyebrows here, you want to you want to comb your eyebrows up to your hairline, and then comb your hairline down to your eyebrows. You want to make it look like you don't have a, a nose, and you want, to, you want to make it look like your cheekbones are higher. It's like, listen... God made you in his image, right? He thinks you're... Okay, but either way, she looks great here. Very happy for it. And then, you know, you don't want to... And then, God forbid, you fall asleep on your pillow, right? You've ever had this before? I, I remember one time I lived in New York City and a lady was over and uh, you didn't have air conditioning because I was poor. And uh, it was one of those hot and humid nights and her face literally stuck to the pillow and I pulled it off and it, and it looked like the Shroud of Turin. It was, uh, I mean, wild out there. Somebody, I mean, could you get me a uh, betting uh, sponsorship, please? Uh, I got to afford paying for these pillowcases that keep getting ruined. Someone someone out there knows what I'm talking about. You ever, you, know, you hug somebody and next thing you know, you've got, uh, that's the, the guys know this, right? You, if you hug somebody, the, there's something about a lady's forehead hits you right on the shoulder. And then next thing you know, you just have like this like tan smudge on you. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's a wild world out there. All right. Either way, um, she did say, she, I, I wrote down a few things she said here, not to uh, ramble, but uh, hey, that's what we do. She said, uh, last few months have been horrible for her. I can understand. She thought she was in, you know, engaged to the love of her life and didn't work out. Now, if I had to criticize her on Bachelor in Paradise, I mean, again, people people are the meanest. I, I've been as graceful as she could be. I mean, look, uh, she's young. Like, what do you expect? She, you're, you're putting people into a scenario to find love, and you're just kind of like finding whoever's next. So um, she says, I have tea to spill, and it doesn't look like we got it yet. Uh, Kat Izzo, hey, do some driving with Dave. We, you could spill some tea over here. Um, and may, Hey, how about this? If you do driving with Dave, I'll let you teach me how to contour my face. Wouldn't that be nice if I did a get ready with me video? Uh, that would be fun, right? Okay, well, I've got one more video coming your way. It's going to be the final Clayton Eckerd video of the day. All these new motions in the oceans, and we're going to be covering them. And then I'll be live at noon East Coast time, which is 11 a.m. Central time, which is... 
9 a.m. Pacific time. If you're in Mountain Time, do the math, okay? And I'll be live on Patreon to discuss more of the behind-the-scenes content, and then it'll finally be the weekend where I get to move into my new home. All right, that and more right after this. <laughs> 